Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk to you about guarantors. A guarantor is a person or a company or other entity that signs a document to agree to be responsible for a debt. It most often arises when someone goes, uh, a person goes in to borrow money for their company. They are the owner of the company, so it is a credit requirement of the lender that there be a guarantor. Most often when it's your business that is borrowing the money and you are the owner, you would be the guarantor because you are the one running the business and in charge of what decisions it makes so that it is in a position to repay the loan and also because the majority of the proceeds or income generated by the company would go to you as the primary employee and the owner. Now the lender has the makes the decision on whether or not the application for the loan by whoever is the proposed borrower, whoever's borrowing the money, whether there needs to be a guarantor. Another situation will be if there is a young person who is borrowing money and they are in school and they, they don't have a good credit yet or any credit yet to show whether or not they have a good payment record, whether they take on obligations and pay their bills. And until you have a credit rating or a credit score, a traditional lender is going to require a guarantor. That guarantor for a young person will most likely be one of their parents. It doesn't have to be though. Now in that situation, if a, a young person is buying a car and mom or dad is helping them buy the car or their, their parent is helping them buy the car and the car is going to be titled in both the name of the uh, young person and then their parent, it's logical that the person, the other person who's going to be owning the car is going to be the guarantor because the lender wants to make sure that everyone involved in the transaction is on board with this and understands that this loan needs to be paid. So whether or not it is a joint owner of the asset for which the loan is being acquired to buy or it's a business owner borrowing money for a business or an individual who owns property with a spouse and now the spouse is going to guarantee it because they're owning that property. A guarantee is a document signed by a person who is the guarantor who is signing on for that obligation. Once you sign a guarantee, the lender, in the event of a default, the lender can come after you, meaning sue you for the whole debt, whether or not they sue the person who is the primary borrower or the entity who is the primary borrower. So while you are the guarantor, it doesn't mean you're taking a back seat. Now the person or entity who is the borrower has the primary obligation to make the payments to the lender. The guarantor doesn't. However, in the event of a default, the bank or finance company can jump over the borrower directly to the guarantor. So it's important that you understand that. I have another video on co-signers. That is different. A co-signer is someone who is primarily obligated on the debt to make the payments from the beginning. A guarantor comes in to play as far as enforcement after there's a default. I hope this was helpful to you. If you know someone who's been asked to guarantee a debt or is going in to borrow money for an entity and they might need this information, please share it with them. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Please subscribe, it helps us out a lot and it'll get you notifications as to our other videos. You just hit the, the, red, the red button or the, the bell. And I'll be back with you next time. Thanks for watching.